What's up, Fox Trotters? Welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for tuning in. If you're new here, welcome, welcome. If you're returning, hello. It's nice to see you all again. You guys look great. Yes, you person standing in the kitchen that just took a bite of your sandwich and half of the mustard and turkey and everything just fell out onto your shirt and now you stained your shirt. You also look great. <laughs> I hope everyone's having a wonderful day. I am. I got off work a little bit ago and I'm feeling pretty good and I'm just really excited about bringing this r slash anti MLM trash video to you. I found some pretty good stuff if I do say so myself, <laughs> but I don't know. I feel that way every video I make. I'm excited about every video. <laughs> so if you would like to see some good r slash anti MLM garbage, then please stay tuned. Oh no, don't use the doggo to sell stuff. That's not fair. Sweet little doggo face has nothing to do with your mess. You leave that poor good boy out of it. Or good girl, whatever. <laughs> Hello, could someone please unique this and also put in four of the new colors? Thank you. Also, can the writing about the mirror be removed, please? Thank you. I've also added the colors in the comments. Thank you. Please, no trolls. When you get a new palette and just sit there admiring before you dig in. Oh, wow. So my initial reaction was to be disgusted by the use of the adorable doggo for the advertisement, but now I'm realizing it's worse. That's not even her dog, nor is that even her palette, nor did she take this photo. She stole this photo from someone else completely. It's probably from like a, a, a makeup artist or something, someone opening PR. Or I don't know. I can just imagine, but it's, it's definitely not theirs. <laughs> it's definitely not unique. And they even say in there, can you please unique this? So, so this is something that's common. Unique has become now a verb <laughs> for how to take a photo and doctor it to look like their products. <laughs> that's awful. <laughs> and also, please put in the four new colors that I added. Blah, blah, blah. So, so they're going to remove the colors that you see there before you, which I, I do like that. Those colors and the, those sparkly ones are very attractive to me. But I mean, so they're going to remove the, the, in the image, they're going to change it to be unique colors. Are they going to change the palette color as well? <laughs> like, how deep does this doctoring go? Like, I'm curious, but uh, I don't know. The comment below is pretty funny too. Wrong group for this, hon. <laughs> <laughs> Way to just out yourself and embarrass yourself completely. Well, I do feel a bit better knowing that the doggo was not hers and the doggo was not intentionally used to sell MLM makeup. So that's good, I guess. If there's any benefit, there's that. Dearest friends, I just wanted to share with you one of my exciting Arbon stories. Blank face lady came to me desiring to be a sweet mama. Not a bad mean mama, a sweet mama. She completed the Arbon detox program in April and got pregnant in May. She announced it on Facebook so that I can finally share. I heard that was your desire also and would love for you to see what Arbon could do for you. Let me know what you think. Oh my god, Arvon has nothing to do with why your friend got pregnant at all. <laughs> How does detox, doing a detox program help get you pregnant? It doesn't. That's some nonsense. Stop spreading that. And also the, the statement of desiring to be a sweet mama is just a weird statement in general. Like, I don't know, is, ever, is anyone else desiring to be like a mean mama? Like, I don't understand. But Arbon will make you a sweet mama. Okay, whatever. Okay, words aside. Uh, so someone announced it on Facebook. I'm wondering if she actually gave permission to the Hunbot to use it. Like, sure, go ahead and say that this got me pregnant. I don't even know. It doesn't actually matter. <laughs> but I mean... Just the straight up attempting to claim that Arbon helps you get pregnant is just disgusting because I know for a fact, you know, conceiving can be hard for some couples. And it's like, that's just not something to joke around with or to play around with or to pretend that you could in any way impact that. Like, pregnancy is such a personal thing. And it is, I, I don't know, these, these hunbots, a lot of them just seem to lack boundaries, any, any form of a boundary whatsoever. Oh, gross! Product of pure romance? You leave those poor innocent babies out of your nasty mess. That is some gross, gross stuff. I'm sorry, that's nasty. And like, here's the thing. I'm an adult. I understand everyone, well, mostly everyone listening to this is an adult, right? Like, adults are adults. If you want to go do this stuff and you want to go spend your money on some adult products, whatever, like, live your best life. No judgment whatsoever. But like, this is gross. I'm sorry. Like, I just think this is gross. Call me a prude, whatever. Like, I think this is just so nasty. I mean, this reminds me, it's almost as tacky as the lip sense 
one, right? The lipstick, like how long does your lipstick last? Like <laughs> that was really nasty. But this is like on par because now the poor baby has to be like your your symbol of your your product success. Like that is so nasty. I have to move on. I hate this one. <laughs> All right, I'll deep breath. Here we go. Living a healthy lifestyle has given me energy to enjoy life with my family, confidence in my body image, and in my ability to get outside my comfort zone and grow into the best version of myself. But none of this would have happened had I not surrounded myself with amazing people who are all driven by the same desire to better themselves every day through consistency and belief in yourself, which were two qualities I lacked in before I was presented with this gift to take my life back. Our team is absolutely pumped to put this new knowledge into action and help others the way we were helped lead healthy and fulfilling lives. If you need the tools to take your life back, I got you. Inbox is always open. Hashtag Coach Summit 2019. Hashtag you belong here. Whoa, calm down. <laughs> Jeez. Um, I'm really glad that you've learned some consistency and that you've gained some self-confidence that's great. I, I don't know if we should credit the MLM that you're in for those things. Maybe you should credit yourself for that, you know, but whatever, whatever. We're nitpicking, I guess. But okay, I'm glad that you gained these positive skills and qualities. That's a good thing. Uh, the problem is, is that you're involved in an MLM, which means those good feelings aren't going to last. And it's only a matter of time. Either you're going to be in it for years because you're going to drink the Kool-Aid and you're going to force it, or you're going to realize pretty quickly what's happening and you're going to do your best to get out of it and backtrack and try to get your money back. Um, hopefully it's the latter because uh, the former is going to make you lose a lot more money and a lot more friends along the way. So uh, I hope for your sake uh, that you learn soon because whatever you're involved in is not going to help with your belief in yourself or your consistency <laughs> at all. In fact, those might be two things that MLMs take away faster than they take away your money. <laughs> For crying out loud, stop putting essential oils in food. Stop. Please, just stop it. Decided I wanted to make some homemade Thin Mints. I don't have peppermint e extract, so I use peppermint essential oil. Yes, that's right. You can bake with essential. No, you can't. Stop. I mean, maybe physically you can. Like, there's nothing stopping you from doing it. But, like, should you? No. <laughs> No, you shouldn't. And Thin Mints are great. How dare you tarnish their delicious, delicious memory by putting essential oils in them. Like, you, you stop it. You just stop it right now. Okay, I'm going to finish reading her little caption. <clears throat> if you'd like to learn more about essential oils and how to use them in your everyday life, I can help. Getting started can be very overwhelming, but you don't have to do it alone. Email me at blah, 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 or message me directly here. You know why people are stressed out about wondering when they can use oils is because they have this kind of misinformation happening in their lives where they are like, oh, oil goes everywhere? No, it does not go everywhere. It does not go inside you. No, it's just, <laughs> why is this a thing? Why? I just, I really... This is so confusing, and I know a lot of you are very pro-essential oils, and like I've said before, I have essential oils. I like them. They smell great, and sometimes they can help me feel more relaxed, and some of you have said that they help with other symptoms that you have too, and like, I believe all of that. None of that isn't true, right? What's true is that whatever this is, is terrible and wrong. <laughs> um, I, I don't know. This is so frustrating. I just don't know why we keep seeing this and why doTERRA and companies like that see nothing wrong with this. They're just like, yeah, put that in your food. Like, what the? <laughs> just stop. <laughs> the sign is hanging its head in shame. <laughs> Essential oils event this way. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, even the signs just like, oh man, I don't want to be a part of this mess. I wanted to be a sign and tell people where garage sales were. This isn't what I wanted out of my life. <laughs> I wonder if this worked too. It's like on the side of the road at some place totally random. I wonder if anybody was like, yeah, let's go to some essential oil sale off the side of the road. That sounds legit. <laughs>
Oh no, I hate this already. Sherry, I think these products helped me get pregnant when my doctor said I would need IVF. I have tubal scarring and damage that's been confirmed via surgery. We tried for six months and nothing happened. We were about to start F IVF and six weeks after I started these products, we conceived holy healing power. Black out my name and photo. <sighs> I hate this. I, this is so gross. Um, there's a good chance that the person who got pregnant could potentially be a Hunbot or could be somebody that just really trusts Sherry and believed all of Sherry's BS that she, Sherry told her, perhaps. Um, this is so disturbing. I just, what I hate about this is that, what, what, what is this called? Is it confirmation bias or something when you've had like, you know, you, like this, in this case, uh, she's been trying to get pregnant, nothing was working, but she did this one thing where she took supplements and suddenly became pregnant and therefore the supplements must have done it. Like that's not necessarily the case. It could have been so many other factors. I mean, anything. And, and just to say that it was, I, I wish I had figured out, I, I don't know which MLM this is. Uh, it could be, it works. It could be Arbon since there's been a lot of Arbon got me pregnant stories recently. So. I'm not sure, but either way, I really dislike this. This is just so bad because you know this type of story is going to get out and then someone who is genuinely trying to have a child and can't is going to try to do this and they're going to try to take these supplements or whatever the heck it is and they're going to not get pregnant and they're going to be devastated. You know, it's just, uh, I just, this misinformation is just yuck. It's yucky. Went to an arts and crafts festival here and busted out laughing when I saw this stand. Sensi now hiring, pay your bills with Sensi. Oh, look at all the things you can get with Sensi. A tank of gas, an electric bill, mortgage, new vehicle, family vacation. You decide how much you want to make. Wow, incredible. I mean, you know, their, their wax warmers are, are cute, I guess, but I'm sure they're overpriced and I'm sure you could just go up to a CVS and find one for under $40 that works perfectly <laughs> without having to involve yourself in this mess. Oh, I've been hearing about this. I've been hearing from some of you actually, like some of you I think have actually had stalls at art and crafts festivals or like um, something like that. And uh, you've said that you've seen MLMs at your uh, craft festivals or craft sales that you've done, which just must be so awful. Cause I imagine someone who legitimately does an arts or an art or craft item, you know, where they make something by hand. I imagine that that must be very disheartening to bring your wares that you've worked really hard on to present to people and then there's somebody next to you who's selling a product that they just bought from someone else and now they're just selling it as a quote-unquote independent consultant like i don't know i feel like that's a little bit soul crushing <laughs> spotted at a filipino cultural festival in san francisco wow paparazzi selling their cheap jewelry that's nice uh, to all of my Filipino peeps out there, tell me, does this really strike you as your personal culture? <laughs> uh, yeah, I doubt it too. Um, I don't know. I feel like if I were to go to a Filipino cultural festival, I'm not there looking for a non-Filipino cheap jewelry company like paparazzi. I'm there looking for like delicious snacks. I'm looking for like, where's the lumpia stand? Point me in the direction of those delicious treats. Uh, wh what's the name of the coconut cake? Uh, it's like a s really soft coconut cake. I don't know. It's like super delicious, but like, I want that if I go to the cultural festival. Like I don't want cheap jewelry that has nothing to do with the country of the Philippines. Like, what is that? What a mess. I mean, I guess anybody can sign up to go to these things as long as they have like, I don't know, they sign on the proper dotted line, I guess, but <laughs> this just is so crappy. Uh, very tacky. Tacky move. Whoever there is at that stand selling that stuff, you're tacky. Business apparel, $5. Going at a business sale on all It Works clothes. Oh, wow, okay. Maybe I shouldn't have read in the Hunbot voice considering they're going out of business. Oh, <laughs> t-shirts, $5. Long sleeve sweatshirts, $8. Pants, $5. I mean, for a sweatshirt, $8 is like a really good price. The problem is that it has It Works emblazoned all over it and therefore is worthless. <laughs> I don't know. Um, it sucks that they're going out of business and it also sucks that they have this 
It Works merch. I didn't even know that It Works had, like, I knew that they sold shakers, you know, for smoothies and all sorts of other weird things, but I didn't know that they actually made, like, shirts and clothing items. <laughs> it's just kind of weird. But anyway, uh, I feel terrible for this person because they've gone out of business and now they actually think they're going to be able to sell these clothes and get them back, get money back. Like, if the LuLaRoe consultants are having a hard time selling off their entire stock, like, what makes you think people are going to do better with It Works stuff? <laughs> no, I don't think anyone's going to want that. I mean, the Giving Back Wins shirt, like, almost looks like it could be anything, right? That looks like it could be... Uh, you did a fundraiser through your local church or something like it looks just like a positive thing But I'm wondering if the back just has like it works emblazoned all over the front or the back of it I don't know like huge letters it doesn't matter regardless. It's tainted because it is an it works shirt So that's enough, but yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I'd be curious to know if anybody bought any of this <laughs> All right, this is some really creepy stuff, okay? So this is an Amway form on, on prospecting tips. So when their consultants come in and get their, do their meetings and they're learning how to find, uh, you know, how to get a downline, how to find victims, uh, this is the form they give them. So I'm not gonna read the whole thing because it's just boring me to tears just to see all these words on one page. Um, but let's just go through them a little bit. Okay, so level one, they want you to develop an icebreaker, which apparently is, hi, how are you? <laughs> nice day, isn't it? Great day, isn't it? Can you believe this weather? <laughs> okay. Uh, and then level two, so apparently now after level two, you, you've got them hooked, you've broken the ice, all right? So take control of the conversation, lead them in the direction that you want to take them by asking questions. So be manipulative is what they're saying. <laughs> Do you live around here? Don't, that's a personal question. I would, if someone asked me that I didn't know, do you live around here? I'd say no, even if it were true, even if it were my house behind me, I'd be like, no. <laughs> How do you like that car? Or can you believe this game? Oh, okay. So like literally pointing out in the street, wow, do you like that car? Or like, are they in a basketball game? Can you believe this game? Okay. Are you married or do you have kids? Again, these are like really personal questions to ask just after the icebreaker. Again, if anyone asked me this, my answer would be no to everything because I don't know you. <laughs> What sports do you like? Okay, that seems fair enough. That's like very benign question. Sure. <laughs> um, what do you do for a living? Does your wife work? What? Excuse me. Don't ask me what I do for a living. It's none your business. And does your wife work? Well, what if the wife works and the husband doesn't? What, what kind of questioning is that? Get your assumptions out of here. <laughs> Okay, so the whole point of your conversation is to get them to ask you what you do for a living. Oh, if they do, then you've got a prospect. Wow, that's some science there, folks. Okay, so when they ask you what you do, here is how you respond. Oh, my word. Have you heard of Amazon? Are you familiar with affiliate programs and marketing? Or I'm an online reseller. It's like a mini Amazon. Well... No, it's not, though. What kind of... That's not an answer. That's a weird... That's like, you know, when people say uh, they they know somebody who's in an MLM and they'll do, like, lots of posts on social media, but they'll never say what MLM they are, like, what the company is. They'll just keep saying, like, a business opportunity or uh, like a mini Amazon. Like, that doesn't answer any questions. Okay, so then it goes through, like, more questions to ask or a second. This concept is really growing and you might find it's a profile or blah blah oh you might fit the profile sorry the font is so tiny and i am getting older <laughs> wow okay so basically it's just through manipulation you're manipulating the person you're talking to to get them to ask questions that's gross neat um okay and then once they've asked you about what you're doing then then you're supposed to bother them more and ask them more invasive questions like have you ever thought of doing anything else like, geez, this is a pretty intense question. Like, you want to talk about what I want to do with my life? What are my dreams and goals? Well, we need to sit down and have, like, a, we need to have some dinner and some drinks. Like, it's going to take a while. Like, you really want to know all this? Like, well, let's get to, let's do it. But this is, <laughs> this is pretty terrible. Um, okay, so the transition right above level four says, you know, this is kind of funny because we've just met. 
but you have a profile that I'm trying, or you fit the profile I'm trying to fulfill, blah, 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 do you have a card? So basically you, after you do this whole ridiculous dialogue of manipulating the conversation, you're then supposed to say something along the lines of like, you totally are like perfect for this job or something. And then they're like, oh, thanks, I think. And then I don't know what happens after that. Uh, oh, they tell us in level four, I guess. Okay, they you, you get their name and phone number, and then you tell them you'll be in touch within a week or two. Keep in mind some people you prospect may be low tech. If that is the case, you'll need to explain that they don't need to be a computer guru to take advantage of affiliate pro. Okay. So basically they're like, are you good at computers? Great, join us. Are you bad at computers? Great, join us. Are you a person with a bank account that we can drain? Great, join us. Wow, that was just a really creepy document. It was just like, a, if you wanna know how to, how to manipulate a conversation and get people to steer towards what you want them to talk about, well then great, use these tactics. Super fun, I bet your friends really like you. <laughs> well folks, uh, it's happened. Uh, two MLMs of equal terrible nature have now fused together to create <laughs> the Young Living, Young Living, I can't even say it without laughing, the Young Living LuLaRoe print. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Who did that? Who? <laughs> what meeting? How did this happen? <laughs> what fancy resort in Cancun were the owners sitting at where this business deal happened? <laughs> like, what on earth? Okay, so not only uh, are you like promoting LuLaRoe, but you're also like, I love Young Living. <laughs> I feel like if you are someone who bought these pants, you would have to be a Young Living consultant and a LuLaRoe consultant. Like that would be the only excuse. I mean, I don't know, unless you're like, you are a LuLaRoe salesperson and then your sister is a Young Living consultant and this is how you guys show your support for each other. I don't know. <laughs> unbelievable I wonder if anything else like this exists someone have to do a hunt for like when MLMs collide like that's a whole new a whole new avenue that I'm like scared to go down but very interested in <laughs> hi person that I swear I know very well which is why I'm messaging you this great opportunity I don't know if you've seen but I'm getting ladies added to my summer accountability boot camp and I'm just reaching out before we kick off I have so many fun things planned, self-love, workouts, all the prizes and goodies, and the community of women is always amazing. I would love to have you join with us. Want more info? Hashtag no pressure at all. Hey girl, not trying to bug ya, but I'm getting ladies added to my morning accountability boot camp, and I'm just reaching out before we kick off. I would love to have you join in with us. Want more info? Hashtag no pressure at all. Hope you are great. Hashtag no pressure at all. There's totally pressure. Pressure. Join. Join us. Be one of us. One of us. <laughs> um, I'm assuming, well, you know, okay, I shouldn't assume. Um, I want to believe that the Hun must just delete her messages so she literally can't see that she double messaged this person. Uh, I don't know. Okay, so May 10th. I'm not sure what yesterday was. I don't know what the date of that was, but I'm assuming there was a good enough chunk of time, but probably recent enough to where they should have known that they'd already messaged this person before. <laughs> so, um... Uh, the fact that they sent it twice uh, and it's relatively the same message, like obviously the second one's slightly less wordy, but it's the exact same message more or less. And then both of both times, hashtag no pressure at all. Like if there's no pressure, then why are you messaging me again? <laughs> like days later, <laughs> if there's no pressure. Yeah, it feels like honestly, like there's a lot of pressure. In fact, it feels like it's only pressure. In fact, I think that's all being an MLM is. It's just pressure. <laughs> Miracle diet, a rant. <laughs> okay, this is weird, but I need a quick vent. I'm a big gal and I love running. I'm training for a couple half marathons. I've done a few in the past along with extended trail runs. I'm slow, but I enjoy the process. Insert all the health benefits here. Still a fat gal running. Good for you though. I don't run at all, so I'm impressed regardless. A friend of the family sells Octavia. Oh, there's a certain YouTuber that did this recently or <laughs> didn't do it, but you know, whatever. Anyways, 
She's never hit me up, thankfully. We were talking about our upcoming races. She let me know one of her clients was nervous about her upcoming half because she really hadn't trained. But because she dropped so much body fat, she'll be fine. Everyone knows that dropping that much body fat increases your endurance after all. Yes, that's exactly what science says. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't think she meant to insult me directly, but FFS, really? <laughs> you lose weight and can run a half with no training? Uh, definitely not. Losing weight does not mean you are in shape, right? There's a difference between uh, being thin and being fit. I do think that's true, and I think fit comes in a lot of different uh, shapes and sizes. That's also true. So assuming that just because someone dropped body fat instantly made, makes them a better runner, like, no, no, no. That's not how that works. <laughs> um uh, and it sounds like, you know, honestly, I'm really happy for this gal. Uh, she sounds like a really motivated person and good for her. Like, I mean, still a fat gal running. Like, whatever. It doesn't matter. You're you're out there doing what most people aren't doing. Like, good for you. That's awesome. And you deserve a lot of credit for that. And to, to heck with people like this that are trying to come and usurp your success, right? They're trying to uh, minimize the struggle you've come through to get where you are. You know, it's just like, eh, just tune out this type of stuff. I'm sorry. I, I hope you're not angry about this anymore. But yeah, Octavia is a mess. That's one I've really not talked about a lot because it's one of the, it's like a diet supplement, uh, you know, meal plan type MLM. So we'll get more into those later. Maybe at some point I'll talk about it. But anyway, <laughs> yeah, uh, good for you, OP. I'm proud of you. <laughs> you're awesome. Okay, this one broke my heart um, because before this, I was completely unaware that Swarovski Crystals had gone the MLM route, okay? I was completely unaware. So the company itself is actually called Touchstone Crystal by Swarovski. So uh, they have Swarovski Crystals, but the actual group is called Touchstone Crystal. Um, I'm going to get into my feelings in a second. I'm going to go ahead and read that little uh, asterisk bit at the bottom because uh, that's on the flyer that they were using to advertise, you know, to people to join. <laughs> Very tempting, especially once you read the fine print. Based on $700 party average, the estimated earnings set forth above are not a representation or guarantee of what you may or will earn. There is no guarantee that a Touchstone Crystal consultant will earn any income. Did you hear that? Any income. Actual earnings depend, among other things, on individual effort and skill. Oh, well, that's manipulative customer base and time devoted to the business and may differ significantly from person to person. Yeah, no kidding. I, uh, I like how right in the small print, they go ahead and insult you ahead of time for quitting. They're like ahead of time, they're letting you know that you're the problem, not the business. Like, oh good, okay. Uh, and I, it's nice how even in the fine print on the flyer where they're trying to advertise for this, they have to say out loud, there's absolutely zero guarantee that you will earn any income at all. <laughs> Um, okay. On to my feelings. <laughs> um, when I was a young person in high school, I, my mom had a friend who was a jeweler and she worked exclusively with Swarovski crystals. And for prom one year, she made me the most beautiful, I still have them, a set of, of red dangly crystal Swarovski earrings and a matching red crystal necklace. Like really beautiful stuff. I wore a beautiful like gold dress. Like it was a whole thing. It was a look. I'm telling you, it was a look. Um, and I just have really fond memories. So it's just really sad to me that now those beautiful memories are just completely tainted. Like, this is a mess. This is messy. I, I really don't like this. That's so heartbreaking. Like, I mean, it's just terrible that anything good can become this, right? Like, I know a lot of you uh, have talked about how you used to sell Avon back in the day or used to buy Avon back in the day, but now because of the company structure, you want nothing to do with it. Like, it's just so sad that good companies can become this. It's like, they get dollar signs in their eyes and suddenly they're they're doing this stuff, you know? Like, I guess if you're trying to make a bunch of money really fast, the best thing to do is to start an MLM. Ugh, I don't like this at all. All right, folks, it's time for everyone's favorite segment of the video, and that is the wholesome moment of the day. Let's see who you guys sent over. First up, we have Sparky, and this was sent over by, forgive me, Geza or Jaza. 
G-E-Z-A. I'm sure I am butchering this beautiful name, so forgive me. Please leave in the comments below how to pronounce your name properly, and please forgive me. Anyway, Sparky was adopted from a local rescue group that removed him from a hoarding situation where he was most likely neglected and abused. But now he's 20 pounds of loving mischief. <laughs> I love that story. Next up, we have Baloo, and this was sent over by Wilma. Thank you so much, Wilma. Now, Baloo was actually a breeding male that Wilma rescued and had neutered immediately. Well done, and thank you for that. And she did that so that he may live out the rest of his life as the happy potato he was meant to be without all of that nonsense <laughs> coming into play. So thank you so much, Wilma, for doing that. Thank you for fixing your kitty cat. I love this kind of story, and I gotta say, Baloo is one handsome potato. And last but not least, we have Pee Wee, who is in the back, and Pebbles, who is in the front. And this was sent over by Melissa. Thank you so much, Melissa, for sending this adorable photo of these two puddin' pops over. Now, these two love to sit with Melissa while she watches these videos, so make sure to give those two pups lots of good pets and say good dog. Now, if you're looking to get a new member of your family, I definitely recommend to adopt not shop. Check out your local shelters, your local humane societies. Donate if you can, volunteer if you can, and don't forget to spay and new to your pets. And if you'd like to see a photo of your pet here, then go ahead and send it to my email in my channel description, and you will see your pets here eventually. All right, Fox Trotters, that's going to do it for me today. Thank you so much for tuning in. If you like that video, please hit that like button down below. If you have any good comments or suggestions, please leave that down below as well. I love to read your comments. I love interacting with you all. If you have not already, hit that subscribe button and become a Fox Trotter. Come join the den. Den Mother would love to have you. And feel free to check out my Patreon. I'll link it here somewhere. And if you don't feel like checking that out, well, then no big deal. I'm just glad you came to spend some time with me today. Wow, that was fun. I hope you guys enjoyed that video. I had some laughs. <laughs> there was some interesting information. I'm a little disappointed about the Swarovski Crystal. Crystal. <laughs> yeah, those crystals. Look out for those. But the Swarovski Crystal MLM <laughs> kind of depressed me. But anyway, I hope everyone's having a great rest of your day. And as always, folks, until the next video, take care.